It's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, and welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. So, I didn't sleep well the night before last. I don't know if I've got a little something about my throat's kind of funny, but uh, I feel okay. I went to Pilates, and this Pilates class was taught by a woman named Alex, and I'm not, you know, trying to be a misogynist. I mean, you know, I know there are dual names. But I wasn't expecting the instructor to be a woman, because I saw Alex, and I went, oh, well, I know many Alexes, Alex P. Keaton. But, you know, whatever. It was fun, and it wasn't like the other Pilates class. It was less strength-based and more flexibility-based, which is good for variety. And I think if I add in a yoga class on Wednesday or Thursday, I'm going to get what I want. Hooray for pilates. Then afterward, I went to Safeway, and we'll do a 180 on the camera. Watch this. Bing! I bought pasta. So in the olden days, I wouldn't spend more than 50 cents for a pound of pasta because you could always find pasta for 50 cents. Well, times have changed and nuns use their real names today. And so now when pasta is 75 cents, you strip off your clothes and jump in the water. So that's what I did, and that's why there's a bunch of elbow macaroni and spaghetti behind the camera. But wait, Joel, you don't like elbow macaroni and you don't like spaghetti. Why would you buy those? It's very simple, really. Golden Grain is making a lot of their pasta boxes smaller, and all the good pastas, like bow tie and penne and rigatoni, they're all 12-ounce boxes now. The only 16s that are left are thin spaghetti, regular spaghetti, and elbow, and they were out of regular spaghetti. So I bought eight elbows and two spaghettis, because elbow, I can eat faster because there's Every, it fits in my mouth, you know, spaghetti is messy, and, and unless my girlfriend likes spaghetti, so, you know, when I make pasta with her, or she makes pasta, then she has spaghetti she can use. So, I'll, I I, mean, I I hate buying elbow macaroni, but, you know, gotta do what I gotta do. So, yeah, and it was a pretty slow news day, I played on full tilt for like three hours and lost like $16 playing 1-2. I got drawn out on a lot, but I drew out a lot, too. I I don't know that I'm playing as well. I think I'm being too aggressive on the flop. I will bet on the flop if it hit me at all, because a lot of the times people will fold because the game is ridiculously tight. And also, if I am the first in before the flop, I will raise. Well, what the problem with that is is I'm raising a lot under the gun with hands that are not that premium. Now, I can take a hand like Queen Jack suited under the gun, and I can if I can outplay my opponent, it's fine. But if I'm raising before the flop because I'm the first person in, then the people that are calling are calling with better than average hands. And so when people call, I'm usually behind. And I love raising when I'm first in before the flop. It's one of the tenets of my, my play. But I think if I'm in early position, I'm going to have to start limping or just stop playing Queen Jack suited under the gun. I mean... I don't, I don't lose to ace-jack suited or ace-jack that often, like when a jack hits on the flop, because, well, it doesn't happen that often, true, but, uh, you know, in a 1-2 game, people are going to raise on the flop if they have ace, if they have top pair with an ace kicker, so I don't have to really worry. But, uh, yeah, I was going to play in a tournament, I just never got around to it, but, uh, yeah, it's a pretty slow news day. So that's time we have today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at joelshitshow.com.